All right, folks, it's 5 p.m. Welcome to the Fashion Tech Hackathon 2021. Um, we're here in Rockwell Hall. A lot of us of the team are actually here at Kent State University. It's a little quiet, unfortunately, due to the pandemic. We can't have an in-person hackathon, so we are missing all of you being here and feeling your energy. My name is Margarita Benitez. I am the, I guess, cat herder of the hackathon this year. I'd like to welcome you. This year we are part of the major league hacking season. We will be talking a little bit about that later. Elizabeth from Major League Hacking is with us this weekend. So welcome to the opening ceremony. So I'm gonna get started talking about some of the other things. So I wanted to put you, uh, put a face to the names behind the Fashion Tech Hackathon team. This is a really old picture of me. It's about 10 years old, a little bit um, older and plumper now, but I'm the textile lab director here. I'm also an associate professor. And uh, the textile lab is a lab that puts on this uh, event in conjunction with a bunch of partners that we'll be talking about in a minute. Catherine Simmons, Cat, um, she's going to be manning the questions, the chat, on the event page. I don't have that live. I'm behind the scenes in a different software. So any questions you have, please put it on the chat. Kat is there to answer them for you or to relay them to us. Marguerite Loomis, she works with us here in the lab as well as the fashion school store. And then Linda Orn McDaniel, she'll be talking in a little bit. Um, she is the lead for mentors. And let me go back. Kat is the lead for judges. Uh, Linda's also the Knit Lab director here. She's a professor at Kent State University. As part of our team, we also have Aishwarya Yelakonda. She has been working with us behind the scenes in putting together the hackathon. We have all our textile lab student workers here. We have uh, Elise, Megan, and Quinn with us. So you might be spotting them uh, in the Slack channel later. J.R. Campbell is one of our partners. Uh, he's the director of the Design Innovation Initiative. Andrea Olenizak, I probably butchered your name, Andrea. I know you've said it before. She also works in DI. She is going to be on and off here. And Zach Mikrit, uh, he's from LaunchNet. He'll be speaking in a little bit as well. So we do have a hashtag for this event for this weekend. So please share things out on social media. KSU FTH 2021 is the hackathon for this year. I mean, not the hackathon, the, the hashtag for this year. And I did want to talk a little bit. This is our eighth annual hackathon. I'm going to mute this, but this is the way back machine, basically. This is a 2016 video. So you could get an idea of the building that we're in. Um, this is the Rockwell Hall at Kent State University. And typically we would have between 150, upwards of 200 students here in the lab this week. And we're hoping that next year we can do uh, a hybrid event where we have people here physically as well as people virtually around the globe. Um, it started 10, uh, well, eight years ago, there was a fashion technology um, exhibition and LaunchNet approached us at the fashion school to see if potentially we wanted to do a fashion tech hackathon and basically it's been eight years going and it's fantastic every year we get students from new locations coming in it is a student-based hackathon you do have to be enrolled as a student for it there's Zach from a few years back um, and yeah, what's great is usually we have the textile lab open, we have equipment to check, services available to all of you. So we have had to pivot a little bit this year. Um, so I'm gonna stop the video and move on to the next slide. Hopefully move on to the next slide. All right, so to the pandemic, um, thanks to the pandemic, basically we've had to go virtual. But what this means is that we have students, you guys are from around the world, Literally, we've had U.S. and Canadian students for the past few years, and I'm not complaining. It's been amazing. But to have students from all these different continents uh, welcome you guys, let us know if there's anything we can help you with. We're going to try to be mindful 
um, with the sessions. We are recording all the sessions. We'll hopefully be uploading those to the YouTube channel so you can view them at your leisure. We'll give you a link to that once we start doing that. It's gonna take us a little time to put those sessions in YouTube because we have to download them from Hopin and then upload that to, to YouTube and then they have to process and make sure the permissions are set correctly. But this way you will have those on demand for you so you can go to the different workshops uh, that in, if they're at a different time zone. Um, all right, and we have over 300 registrations. In the US, usually we had clo states close to us, a few sporadic, uh, East and West Coast, but this year we have from 15 different states, which is also amazing. So welcome all you guys. Of course, this event would not be possible without the partners. We do wanna send a shout out to all these um, partners that we have in Hopin. In a minute, in a few minutes, I'll hop into Hopin and show you how that uh, site works and what you can do and where you can find certain things. We also wanna thank our sponsors. There are two sponsors that have provided some services for you, Echo AR and the Codex. Um, in the reception area in Hopin, you will be able to um, access those and I'll walk through that in, once I get into Hopin and show you that area. There are prizes from a lot of these people. Uh, Sticker Mules provided stickers. DevPost has given us a platform for judging. There are prizes from uh, Google Cloud, Domain, DigiKey, and we'll, going, we'll be going over the prizes, as well as Events as Smart uh, Partners has given a mentoring uh, prize, and we have our own challenges, and we'll walk through that. I know it's a lot, but uh, we'll get through it little by little. Before that, we do have a couple of welcome videos for you, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, be quiet for a minute and... This is our director from the fashion school, Dr. Louise Valentine, and she has a message for you. And let me make sure I get the sound going. Louise, just a second. Uh, all right, let me, how do I get the sound? Let me see, oh no. All right, give me one second to unmute this and let me play. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the eighth annual Full of Fashion Hackathon here at Penn State University. We're delighted to welcome you to this weekend. And um, how are you all? Are you good? Are you looking forward to everything? Great. It's going to be busy, it's going to be fun. We're going to ask you to get involved, to step outside your comfort zone, to, to try some things that, that feel a bit uh, dangerous, but, but ultimately you've got a team that's surrounding you to help you just push beyond and look at some really, and as I said, that connection between fashion and technology, between the local and the global, between you and me. Well, got, people will have to up there. Be daring and bring your best self to the table. All the best, everyone, and I look forward to seeing all of those work um, on Sunday. Take care. All right, apologies if that was quiet. Um, we'll see how that goes with the next. Okay, next slide. Come on. All right, now we have a second welcome from Burton D. Morgan Foundation. They are have been an incredible supporter of the Fashion Tech Hackathon. Um, so I hope the sound is on for this one. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Of the Fashion School and more recently, the Fashion Tech Hackathon. Our dedication to the fashion program is grounded in the abiding interest of the Morgan family and Margaret Clark Morgan in particular. Her influence and generosity are still present in the fashion school today through scholarships and programs. Mr. Morgan was a bold and inventive entrepreneur. He believed in the power of entrepreneurship to change lives through innovation and the development of new ventures. His influence continues at Kent State through the LaunchNet program that supports innovation, ideation, and incubation of startups. The interests of both Mr. and Mrs. Morgan are beautifully blended in the Fashion Tech Hackathon. 
More than a decade ago, Morgan Foundation supported a research project that sought to combine textile design and technology. This early exploration has certainly come a long way. The Fashion Tech Hackathon was born, and here we are today, eight years later, with record participation from across the country. While we all wish we could be together in person, we hope all of you have an extraordinary virtual experience this weekend. Best of luck to all participants. So that was Deb um, speaking about some of the history that we've had with the Burton D. Morgan Foundation. They really have been phenomenal supporters of the fashion school at this event. All right, good. I was able to move from the video. So logistics on um, this weekend's hack. Hop in is where you're at now. All the sessions, so any workshops are gonna be there, opening, closing ceremony, uh, are going to be on the live stage, um, and there's networking functions as well, which I'll go over once I open up Hopin uh, and talk to you about the the uh, workspace. Slack, a lot of you are already on Slack. I do have links to all these that I will be uh, showing you on screen. Slack is for real-time communication, so we're all going to be monitoring Slack we're gonna be physically in the lab um, from, from now until midnight. We go home, but there's gonna be some of us um, assigned overnight to just make sure that we can answer your questions. There are mentors throughout the day, throughout the night, um, and Linda will talk about that a little bit later. But Slack is basically where you can connect with other hackers. You can talk to people to try to find teammates. Um, now go over the team rules and all that good stuff. It's just a fantastic communication platform. You can ping any of the organizers. You can ping any of the mentors. You can ping each other. Uh, Echo AR has a channel specifically for them so that they can help you if you want to participate in their challenge. Uh, Textile Lab has one if you want any consulting on, on the, and I'll go over that in a minute, uh, on 3D printing, laser cutting, that sort of thing. And then Dev Post is where you're going to submit for your judging so that's where you put your projects, you make sure all your team members are there, and that's where we'll assign winners. And um, and yeah, the judges are gonna use that to judge. So obviously that's an important part as well this weekend. So you need to be connected to all three of those. Hop in for the events, Slack for the communications and dev post for the project repository and judging. So hop in. Uh, this is the attendee link. I'm going to go back one slide. So I'm just going to go into Hopin right now, and I'm going to show you just a basic walkthrough in case you haven't been there before. It is going to show a couple of things that you're not going to see because this is the back end. I have an administrator account on here. But I'm going to go... So when you... Go to the event, this is what you should see. The event is live, so you have to click to enter the event. If you don't enter, you basically get a description. You get, um, you know, our supporters and our sponsors. If you keep going down, you can actually see the schedule. So these sessions have all been recorded. Uh, check-in is starting now. So if you go to Slack, you can get the check-in you know, opening ceremony, so forth. And then, um, yeah, speakers are all listed here. Some of us have photos, not all of us. And then booths for our different uh, sponsors and partners. All right, so I'm gonna just go in, into the event and show you the different places. So right now it's telling you the check-ins are live and the Fashion Tech Hackathon stage is live. So at any point in time when you go in, whatever's happening at that time in the schedule will show up here for you, quick and easy access. On the right-hand side, you can see that there is a little um, minimizing tray that shows you chat. There's some polls. So right now there's a poll from Design Innovation going and there's people. So let's say you will want to connect with um, any of these folks, let's say you wanted to connect with Ron Deere who did the Arduino workshop, you can schedule a meeting or invite a call. Um, another way you can connect with Ron would be in Slack where you could go to mentors and, and type in 
and try to see, uh, usually when you go to Slack, you do an at symbol and type in the person's name. I can select Ron and say, hello, hello, Ron. And if you need help, this is one way that you could connect with your mentors. Um, all right, so main stage, you could go to live, and I'm going to go main stage. You could go scared the crap out of myself. Um, so, yeah, that was that's recorded for history. Great. Um, all right, so if I go to sessions, you will see some sessions. Um, right now, there's there should be no sessions live, but coming up after... Um, at 7 p.m. is a team building exercise with Jared Campbell from DI. You would go in here. There are a couple of lounges. One is for mentor and partners. So this is only for people who have mentor tickets. And then the Hacker Cafe is for participants. So all of you guys can go in there, hang out, share your camera, meet people. So this is another place to connect for team building. Another way to connect for team building is the networking. So networking, it's kind of like random speed dating. So whoever is in this networking tab, you hit ready and you get matched with someone. You have 150 seconds to connect with them, to talk quickly, and then you can connect if you want. You can share your contact information. And at 150 seconds, it randomly goes to the next person. So it's, it's a fun way to meet people. And then the expo, here's where you would, uh, for example, if you wanted to learn more about design innovation, you could go here. Um, so a lot of our partners like LaunchNet, Eventsys, Partners, Echo AR, Knit Engine, Innovanets, uh, they have, and the Bur Burton D. Morgan Foundation, they all have some little expo booths. Um, so the main page would be, you know, sessions. You could find out sessions for team building. But something else you can do, which is in my next slide in the presentation, would be you could create your own session. So let's say that in the Slack, someone's like, hey, I need help with uh, Java, Java or C++ or C Sharp or whatever. Or I need help wireframing an app. I need help with uh, UX, UI. And you're an expert in these areas. Literally, you could create your own session. So you could go in, create an open session. You could say 3D printing demo. Um, everyone is welcome. Create the session, enable YouTube sharing, record, record the session. If you're doing a demo, please, that way we have it and we can uh, share it out to participants afterwards and you create a session and basically you can advertise it on Slack that you're going to talk about 3d printing. So we want to enable you guys to be able to share and learn from each other as well. So that's one of the really fantastic things about this platform, that it allows you to connect with each other in ways where you typically wouldn't like in, in different um, tele teleconferencing apps. So that's that. And if you have any questions about Hopin, please connect with Kat in the chat. And that rhymes, not intentional. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go back to my opening ceremony slides. And again, here is the information on this. And I will share, I will share the, the link to my presentation in Slack once I'm done. So you can actually go in and, and look at all this stuff as well. So Slack Workspace, if you haven't logged in yet, please make sure you're on there. We will do announcements on there. So whenever we have a checkpoint, we will connect with you on there. It's our way to get information to you without having to email you directly. If we email you directly, that means that we've been trying to contact you in Slack and we haven't been able to get in contact with you. So that's important. And then dev posts, for now, register. Tomorrow, I will be connecting with you. We will be connecting with you for a checkpoint to make sure that your team is registered as a team and that all your members are in there and that you've started your dev posts uh, submission because that will be due by 8 a.m. on Sunday for the judges to be able to judge. And then I'm going to hand this off to Linda. So she's going to talk about mentors. So I'm going to add her to the screen and I'm going to remove my All right. Please uh, welcome our mentors. We actually have a total of 66 mentors from all over the world with 
experience in a range of fields. It's very exciting to see that there's so many that are eager to work with you throughout the weekend to make your project a success. And so uh, we have people who are great at ideation, developing the ID in the initial phase. Uh, we have um, fashion experts, anything from uh, developing 3D virtual models of, of garments, uh, designing garments, presenting garments, sewing garments, making patterns for garments, so many components uh, of the fashion aspect. Technology, software, hardware, where all this development stuff that I know nothing about, we have a lot of experts in this area that you can reach out to. We have people who know about textiles, knitting, weaving, um, print, all kinds of aspects of textiles. So if you're thinking of developing something that has uh, to do with textiles, reach out. Smart textiles is a big thing right now, and, and there are some great experts on that. Market readiness. All of these components uh, are things that you need to know when you present your project at the end. So how do you connect with the mentors? Well, there are a couple of different ways. So um, to, the best way to reach out to the mentors is to go to the uh, mentors channel on Slack, ask a question. Here, if you type it in, uh, the mentors will be continuously monitoring and looking for, uh, for ways to answer uh, if it's within their expertise. So when you're asking a question, make sure that you uh, exactly like Margarita, type in what your topic is. What are you interested in? What do you need to know about? Uh, that way the right mentor will come to you and, and help you answer your questions. Uh, you can also go look at the calendar. Sorry, we have a calendar as well where you can see uh, who's available at what time. You can see it's a little color coded for what their expertise is. At the bottom, you can see there is a list. So there are two tabs. One has a calendar and one has uh, mentors by topic area. So if you are looking for a specific topic, you can follow the color coding, find a mentor. Uh, we will keep filling in the Slack handle so that you can find them, but you can just search for their name in Slack. Um, for knitting, I, we just want to add, we always have had one of our sponsors is Stoll and they make the knitting machine. So we have uh, some partners with us that uh, are going to help us develop some knit prototypes if you're interested, if knitting is something you want to do. Uh, reach out on the Slack channel and uh, mention knitting so that someone can connect with you and talk to you further about how we could do this. We will do small samples. Uh, of, of textiles, photograph them and share them with you so you can include them in your presentation. We One more thing about mentors before I hand off is uh, mentors might stop by uh, in your room. Uh, so talk to them, take advantage of these mentors. They are eager to work with you. We're hoping they'll connect and that you'll connect with them. Maybe you'll get to talk to someone from Singapore or someone from Ohio, uh, Sweden, all over the world. They're participating and eager to help you make your weekend a great success. Linda, I Linda, wanted to I wanted ask to you something. something. Should I make an Ask Knitting channel if people want to ask specific knitting? Would that be cool? That would be great. Okay. So if you're interested in knitting, just ask in the knitting. Join that chat. Perfect. Thank you, Margarita. All right. You're very welcome. Well, thank you for that information, Linda. I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to say goodbye to you. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. This is just so strange. Um, there's a bit of a delay between one thing and the other. All right, so we do have the Knit Lab, with, which Linda runs here. We have amazing these three amazing stoll machines and the software, and we actually have hand knitting, and it, it's super cool. But we also have the Textile Lab, and this is the Digital Fabrication um, and Output Lab and Digitization Lab here at Kent State. We are going to be available for consulting. We have um, laser cutting, 3D printing, embroidery, digitizing services. Um, we have different types of 3D printers. We, we just got a resin printer. Uh, we have a Cricut machine. Um, yeah, so we'll be here to consult. 
with you on anything that has to do with either digital fashion or um, any of those services that we have. For local students, we are open until midnight today and until midnight tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we start at 8 a.m. Um, and you can come in and if you need to prototype anything for your projects, we will we'll work with you on that. Of course, we need to follow the COVID safety protocol so we'll have limited access and only X amount of people can be in the room at the same time. But uh, do reach out if that is something that you're interested in. All right, so next slide. All right, rules. You have to be in a team. Unfortunately, you can't work by yourself. That kind of defeats the whole point of going to a hackathon. Hackathons are about meeting people, learning things, and making things together, uh, and maybe winning some money and cool stuff along the way. So your team has to consist of between two and five students. There will be a checkpoint, which I'll, ta I'll talk about in a little bit, um, where you have to come up with certain information. So keep in mind that you need to do these things by those checkpoints. The entire project must be built at this event. You may use any publicly available libraries. No ideas developed, no lines of code should be written. Nothing should be shown before the event. And of course, you also have to adhere by the Major League Hacking uh, Code of Conduct. And you can click on the link. We have that link in our uh, dev post as well. A lot of you have been asking about team building. So you're coming in, you don't know anyone. Well, how do you build a team? There's a team building session, as I mentioned before, from DI that's coming up shortly at, um, at six something. Uh, I don't remember the time, but it's come after this, there's a fashion tech intro, a small 15 minute presentation, and then there's like a little break and then JR starts with the team building session. And I'm sure he'll talk about it. And I'm sure he knows the time it starts at. Um, we shifted the schedule around. So apologies for not having all the answers. Um, post on the Slack team building. If you're looking for a coder, if you're looking for a fashion student, if you're looking for a business person, post that there. Make sure you're looking there if you're looking for other teammates. And then use the network button uh, so that you can connect with random people in the hackathon. And maybe, who knows, you might have some synergy and uh, similar interests, and we'll also have some networking sessions after the team building exercise for different categories. We were calling them birds of a feather, so um, those will be in the schedule later. The theme. The theme for this year is connected. Um, since we pivoted to virtual reality, it's, it's uh, not virtual reality, a virtual event, Connections are something I think we've all been missing, you know, uh, being able to be even in the same room together, uh, going people watching. Uh, it's just there's a lot of things missing from our lives and we're connected through technology now. So 2021 is like, you know, embracing this idea of different types of connections. So it's purposely left vague because connected could mean a bunch of different things. But uh, we did that purposefully so that it would be open to your interpretation and exploration. So there's three different challenge streams. They're all going to be worth $1,000 each in prize money. Connected individual. This is thinking about what it means to be connected in an individual perspective. So can you, make, can you use fashion and technology to make people more connected to themselves? Um, can it be harnessed to create deeper connections with yourself? Um, what sort of areas so you can use fashion technology to express yourself? There's a lot of wearables out there, like from different artists and designers that have expressive elements. Um, augmentation is another way. So using augmented reality, uh, mixed reality. What the, can you use data? So, for example, you know, all these smartwatches, they're kind of like an individual connection. I get to see all these data and metrics about myself. Health, sports, these are just small little um, tidbits to hopefully encourage you to start thinking about um, what it means to be connected, individuals, and fashion and tech. Connected Community is sponsored by Design Innovation. And this is this basically is how can fashion technology foster deeper and more meaningful connections in a community? Um, 
Can we use fashion and technology to do so? Communication again, expression, augmentation, data. And JR might speak a little bit more about this when he presents. Connected systems, uh, this was sponsored by Burton D. Morgan Foundation Grant. So think more disruptive, like going to the textile industry and how can technology and the textile industry change things. So you might be thinking about using blockchain. You might be thinking about using AI or machine learning. Uh, so what does connected mean in regards to an industry? The pandemic has definitely shifted a lot of industry to use virtual and simulation software. Um, can industries connect more meaningfully with their users? Can brands connect more meaningfully with their users? Um, so all these challenge informations um, are actually also on the hop in uh, in the reception page. So if I go to the reception page, you will have the challenges here as well as the submission criteria. So let me go back to the opening ceremony and keep going. So we have sponsor prizes. LaunchNet has an MVP, Minimally Viable Product Award for 500. And I think Zach's gonna talk about that in a little bit. And Ventus Partners has a mentorship award. Um, CLO, the fashion software program, has best use of virtual fashion, where they're giving away licenses for the best use of fashion, uh, of virtual fashion, of their software. Echo AR has a sponsor award as well for projects that use the Echo AR platform. Major League Hacking has graciously connected us with three other program. Uh, prizes, best domain registered with domain.com, best use of Google Cloud, and best hardware hack. I'm not sure if Elizabeth from Major League Hacking will talk about this later, but if not, um, you can find the information here and you can also connect with her in Slack. Um, so checkpoints. You have your team, you're working on your projects, you need to meet these checkpoints. We need to know who your team members are. And of course, during a hack, this might shift and that's totally normal, but we just wanna be able to start connecting with you and making sure that you meet these points because if you don't have a team by tonight and you don't start working on things, there's only 36 hours. So it, it, you're kind of gonna be in at a disadvantage. So it's important that you at least get into a team, start thinking, start brainstorming, start making, start hacking. Um, checkpoint two, 11 a.m. on Saturday, we're just gonna make sure that you have a dev post created that everyone's on there. If you have any questions, we can walk through this with you. At 5 p.m., we're gonna make sure you've started putting stuff onto dev post. And then final submissions happen at 8 a.m. on Sunday. So that's when dev post closes. Make sure to post stuff before that and post stuff and maybe even uh, update your postings because if all the teams are showing up to dev post at that time and the networks might be down, um, it was a little bit more difficult when we were all in the same building because of the bandwidth problem. Now that we're in different places, that might not be the case, but just make sure that as soon as you have something posted on there so that there is no, um, no 8.05 a.m. cutoff and you're still uploading something kind of issue. All right, so now I'm going to hand it off to J.R. Campbell. So I'm going to mute myself. Hello. Um, glad to see everybody's out there. And, and uh, welcome to the Fashion Tech Hackathon. Um, wanted to just talk a little bit about design innovation as a concept at Kent State and, uh, and um, say, you know, you're welcome to connect with us and, and learn more as well. Um, design innovation. I, I I was the former director of the fashion school, and, and as Margarita mentioned, we uh, started the Fashion Tech Hackathon uh, eight years ago. And and in many ways, the design innovation initiative at Kent State uh, has its some of its origins connected to that partnership with LaunchNet and the fashion school and many others across Kent State. And so uh, we're excited to continue working with with the uh, hack and uh, to think about how we can carry it even further. So. Um, just a couple of quick items, if you're curious throughout the weekend or beyond. 
Design innovation at Kent State is a, it's a non-degree granting uh, uh, concept where we offer both courses and, and then co-curricular experiences like hackathons or other challenges to any student from any major uh, across the university. And so we um, uh, have been lucky enough to be able to create the Design Innovation Hub, which is the image that you're seeing in front of you, that literally just opened in the last couple of months. We had our uh, virtual grand opening in November. And, uh, and so the uh, link that's a little bit covered by the sharing symbol here, but at the bottom of the page, um, if you're interested on the Design Innovation website, thank you, <laughs> um, uh, then um, please please visit this page. You can actually, uh, the little person icon that's on the front of the building means that you can actually click on it and do a virtual walkthrough, guide yourself throughout the building, um, see the range of different maker uh, maker spaces and technologies that we host in the building, and, uh, and, and also see quite a few videos from both our students and, and administrators and, and uh, and folks who are affiliated with design innovation. Um, so encourage you to do that. Um, a great deal of what we are focused on is how can we help to facilitate cross-disciplinary collaboration. So in that sense, everything that DI is about has to do with teams and how we work in teams and how we use the diversity in teams to really uh, create and uh, help to create and inspire more compelling and interesting and innovative solutions. And so. Um, when, when, when I uh, do the, the team building workshop, we'll talk a little bit more about some techniques that we commonly use, and uh, hopefully it'll be a chance to get for you to get to uh, know and meet a few other people who are part of this event, and uh, maybe connect and create some teams, and uh, um, we'll, we'll continue to reinforce that throughout the event. Um, so at any time, if you have questions, feel free to reach out uh, to me on Slack, and we'll go for there. Thank you, JR. And your session is at 6.15. I just checked the calendar. So after this, this should be running till a couple more minutes. Uh, it might drag on a little long, but then we'll have a break. Then at 6, we'll return for the Intro to Fashion Tech. I'll just speak a little bit about fashion technology, and then it'll go straight into the DI uh, team building session, which should be incredibly fun. So we'll you'll get to see JR quite a bit this weekend. All right. I'm going to remove you now. Bye. Okay, next up is Zach from LaunchNet. So I'm going to mute myself and. Uh... Cool. Thanks, Margarita. And I do have to say, I think my cats only wake up when it's my turn to speak in presentation. So I got heavily distracted there for a second. But my name is Zach. I'm with LaunchNet at Kent State. Uh, we've been part of the Fashion Tech Hackathon since the beginning of it. And I'm very excited to be here this year. A uh, huge shout out to the Textile Lab team on their incredible job making this happen virtually this year. So we're real excited to see what happens. I will say, though I miss being in person, I am excited at quicker access to a shower and the fact that I'm not going to be sleeping in Rockwell Hall this year. So both of those things are exciting. Uh, so LaunchNet is innovation and entrepreneurship for all majors at Kent State. We help students, regardless of your class level or major, with business ideas, whether it's an app, a uh, fashion company, a t-shirt company, uh, if you sell on Etsy, anything like that, it doesn't matter. We do advising events, workshops, and competitions like the Fashion Tech Hackathon. So I'll, I'll be helping out with three things for this weekend. One is Margarita mentioned the LaunchNet MVP award. So I'm going to be giving away a $500 award on Sunday for uh, a team that is ready to explore their market potential, that would be ready to interview customers that has a prototype to showcase uh, and specifically what kind of competitive advantage you have. So I'll be looking for that kind of stuff in the dev posts uh, for that launch that MVP award. On Saturday at four o'clock, I'll be talking about how to move forward with your hack. So learning about entrepreneurial resources, uh, both on campus in your region and different tools that you might be able to use to help move your hacks forward after this weekend, if that's what you're interested in doing. And then last, uh, if you are looking for pitch help for uh, putting a video on your dev post and really promoting what you're working on and how to do your elevator pitch for your hack, uh, just hit me up on dev posts uh, through the mentor channel that way, and I'd be happy to help. But thanks, and good luck, everybody, and have fun this weekend. Awesome, Zach. And I think you meant Slack. Hit you up on Slack, right? What, yeah, what did I say? You said dev post, but dev post. Yeah, I meant Slack. I was just rattling off a, a lot of stuff there. So. 
Yeah, all right. Well, thank you so much. And yeah, thanks. Quite a bit on the weekend. I'm going to remove you now. And then last but not least, I'm going to unshare my screen, I think. How do I unshare my screen? I hid that, and now I have no idea how to unshare. Uh, stop screen. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to share um, Elizabeth from MLH. We've been um, very lucky to be part of their 2021 Major League Hacking um, sees, uh, season this year, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna add her to the stream so she can talk. All right, hey folks, uh, welcome. My name is Elizabeth Gonzalez, and I'm super duper excited to be here. I've been a coach with Major League Hacking for just about a year, and this is actually my 23rd hackathon. So uh, that's super awesome. And ooh, just like Zach, I also have a cat that only gets really nosy when I'm in front of the camera. So I'm so sorry if you see any sort of distraction down there. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, my name's Elizabeth, super excited to be here. Uh, now I'm going to be covering a ton of information, uh, but everything that I talk about can be found at this website. That's hack.mlh.io. And I'll also be posting these links on the Slack right after opening ceremony as well. Uh, because like I said, I am going to be covering a lot and I do want y'all to have all the information you need. Uh, now you might be asking yourselves, what exactly is Major League Hacking? Uh, well, we are the student hacker community. Uh, we're global all over the world and it's our mission to empower hackers just like yourselves. And we've been doing that with a whole lot of people recently, which is super awesome. And by being here, you're actually winning points for your school in our season long ranking contest. So if you want to earn more points, make sure to come out to more events like these and uh, just make sure to be active in the community. Now, what exactly will we be doing for you this weekend? Well, we do want you to take a break this weekend. We don't want you to be coding for 36 hours straight. So we'll be hosting the MS Paint with Bob Ross mini event over hop in at a session tomorrow at 5 p.m. This is gonna be a really chill mini event. We're just gonna be following a Bob Ross YouTube tutorial together. So I highly recommend checking it out if you're interested in taking a break. We're also offering the US Air Force Cybersecurity Challenges Sunday morning at 9 a.m. So this is right after hacking ends. So if you're interested in a little break there as well, we'll also be raffling off some really cool US Air Force branded prizes. So make sure to check that out. And speaking of uh, prizes and cool things you can win, uh, we have some really fun swag for you. So make sure you fill out the address form that I'll be sending out in the Slack later. And you can uh, actually receive one of these really awesome 2021 season mascot face masks. Uh, also, our friends at GitHub are offering the Draw an Octocat, Win an Octocat contest, where you can doodle Mona the Octocat, who you see on the screen there, in any format you'd like, on paper or on the computer. Just make sure you tweet your drawing uh, at GitHub Education using at MLHacks, hashtag MyOctocat, hashtag KSUFTH2021. And the winner of the Octocat contest will win that statuette that you see there and will be announced at closing ceremony. Uh, speaking of GitHub, they're also offering the Student Developer Pack, which has thousands of dollars of software for you to use for free. Uh, all you need is your student email to sign up, and they also have a Canva Pro uh, subscription, which is really cool. Uh, so definitely check that out if you do have that student email. And we have a bunch more resources on top of that. We're offering a free domain name, uh, anything that's .tech, .space, or .online for a year with domain privacy, all you need is the code uh, code the snow at domain.com. And the team with the most creative domain name is also gonna be eligible to win a prize. We're offering up to $100 in free Google Cloud credits for any Google Cloud projects you wanna use. All you have to do is go to hackpack slash Google Cloud credits and you can redeem your uh, credits. And we're doing a prize for best use of Google Cloud. We're also offering a chance to win $5,000 in Google Cloud credits for any COVID-19 related projects. Uh, so make sure you include that information in your dev post when you submit if you're interested. Uh, the last prize we have is the best hardware hack presented by DigiKey. Uh, we'll actually be picking two events, uh, two teams at this event, and each winning team member is going to receive a Grove Beginner Kit with an embedded Arduino. Uh, if you're looking to participate, we will be accepting hardware emulator projects as well as regular hardware projects. So definitely look into that link if you're interested.
And if you have no idea where to get started, that's okay too. Uh, we do have a bunch of toolkits and uh, learning platforms. If you're interested, you can check out hackpack slash learn for uh, more starter kits. Here is the complete list of prizes this weekend that we'll be offering through Major League Hacking. Uh, this list is also gonna be on the dev post in case you're interested. And you can always just message me on Slack if you have any questions about anything at all, I'd be more than happy to help you. Uh, by submitting on dev post, you're also eligible to win a really awesome customized iDemo sticker. Uh, so make sure you do that if you're interested. And we're also offering, uh, we have careers for you, uh, we've partnered with uh, some really awesome companies that are looking to hire hackers just like yourselves. And uh, if you're interested in an internship or uh, just look to learn more about any of these companies, you can check out hackpack slash careers for more information. Now there is one final thing that I want to cover. And that is that major league hacking hackathons are meant to be a safe space for everyone. By being at this event, like Margarita said, you're agreeing to our code of conduct and you can read it right there as well. But basically just please be respectful and harassment and abuse are never tolerated. At digital events especially, it's important to remember that there's a human on the other side of the screen. So just please be nice and patient with each other. And if at any point you do feel uncomfortable or would like to report something, you're more than welcome to email this uh, email address, call this number, or come to me directly and I would love to get you the help you need. Thank you so, so much. I know that was a lot of information and thank you to all of our partners. And thank you so much to Margarita for letting me talk. Uh, this has been my presentation and happy hacking everyone. Thank you, Elizabeth, that was great. I tried to feverishly type in all the links while you were saying them and showing them on screen. So they, I'm sure you're gonna share them, like you said, on Slack, but they're also on the general channel right now. So feel free to go there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye to you. And um, basically, we are we are done for now. Um, right now, it would be question and answer time. So if you have any questions, Kat, are there any questions? Not yet. Okay, we'll give you a minute. Uh, if you don't have any questions, feel free to log off and uh, I'll be here for another couple of minutes, but take a break at 6 p.m. We will start sharply for the 15 minute intro to fashion tech presentation, followed by the team building event at 615. Um, so go rest your eyes, stretch, maybe play with your cat if you have one and they've been wanting attention um, and We'll see you shortly.